This is Danielle Tucker. Danielle is an intern with the Teen Theater Ensemble known as TTE of the North Carolina Black Repertory Company. Danielle, how are you this morning? I'm well. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am a senior professional theater major at A&T with an acting concentration. Um, I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey, and I love it here in North Carolina now. Um, I, am, I serve as the uh, program assistant for TTE, also known as the artistic assistant, um, under the um, executive artistic assistant for Black Rep. So the director of education and associate artistic director. So mm -hmm. you're working with Miss Hilda Willis. Yes, I am. Right. I work right underneath her. So I help her facilitate the program, come up with activities. Um, and since I've been at ANT, I have. Um, realize that I have a passion for behind the scenes. Um, I still am an actress, but I love the production side of building something up. Um, so what is it about that behind the scenes and how did you discover, I really like this maybe, not that you don't like the mm -hmm. acting part, but you really love that behind the scenes. Um, well, I had started doing some, I had started taking stage management classes and theater management and I've always had, I've always liked to be in charge of things. <laughs> I always like to um, take my ideas and I like to, I like to see them happen. Um, so that's how I got on the production end and I'm a director as well. So um, and administration is also, it just helps out with my directing because you know, I'm taking the lead of something. It's just in a different facet. So multi-talented, mm -hmm. acting behind the scenes, uh, taking charge, leading, yeah. all those things. So tell me about the Teen Theater Ensemble and what are you excited about, about what is happening? Okay, so um, this year we have um, students from, I would say middle school to high school and they're so talented. All the students are just so excited to learn. And sometimes you don't you don't see that. You always have some students who are here because their parents force them, but they're all willing to learn. And um, it, it's just it's just excited to see black students in a comfortable environment being taught not only by a professional but rising professionals. We have interns um, from a and who serve as the vocal coach, acting interns, um, movement interns, and they're taking what they've learned from school and their personal experiences, and they're able to um, act as professionals here. Not act, because they are professionals, rising professionals. So it's, it's just, a, I'm just so excited to see these students in the spot I, I was in. Mm -hmm. um, a few years ago, because you know, I'm still young. Well, you're still learning? Yes. While you're mentoring at the same time? Yes, sir. So one of the outcomes of this, not only in uh, developing and learning and continuing to grow and having interns like you all assisting them and heal this uh, expertise is a performance at some mm -hmm. point, which is going to be uh, in the winter of the year. So what can you say about that at this time as you move toward that? Um, about the performance? And right. Learning? So, um, one thing about the performances that we'll do, they're all um, created, not only by Ms. Hilda, but through the students. So it's a big collaboration. Um, we're still working on it right now. So um, I don't have a lot to say about it right now, but I know um, it's definitely gonna not only be acting, but it's gonna be uh, voice and dance all incorporated together. So. I'm excited. So what I can say about it is that the last day of Kwanzaa, which is uh, December 31st, I mm -hmm. believe, you all will be a part of that. And yes. uh, for everyone who has the opportunity to come out, that day is free. You yes. will get to see a little excerpt of what they're going to be doing mm -hmm. uh, in the future. So I know there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of passion. Yep. Uh, last week you had parents here as well, and mm -hmm. you did some improvisation for what I understand. So yes. what can you say? And what would you share with people about coming out to support the teens about what I have seen has just been the enthusiasm and mm -hmm. the passion and how they responded to uh, the mentoring and coaching and leadership? Well, one thing, um, I think it's always important to support the arts. 
the arts is often something that people, um, I don't want to say neglect, but don't always, um, they just don't always come out to see. And it would just be great for people to come out to see what the students put together um, all throughout their hard work. We meet one Saturday a week and just to see how far they've come in just um, a few weeks. And uh, it's just, it's just so much talent that, that needs to be uh, expressed to different people. All right, that's fantastic, and you are. Danielle Tucker. Danielle Tucker, and you are a senior at? a &T, North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. She has a little yes. Aggie pride, and yes, you're from? Plainfield, New Jersey. And you like it here in North Carolina? Yes, I do. Thank you very much for participating.